My beautiful Pisces friends, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome my friends. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. All right, everyone, we have the new moon coming up here on August the 4th, and this new moon is in the sign of Leo, a very creative, very confident sign. And there's a lot of love that we can express in the world through our creativity. So Spirit is wanting us to splash the world with the colors of our self-expression. This is a perfect time to manifest as well. So grab your candles, everyone, and light a candle on August the 4th during this new moon. We've got a lot to receive this month. This is actually going to be a very powerful month for all of us. And this is the month where we can actually ignite our dreams. This is where we are lighting our fire, our inner fire. In honor of that, what I'm going to do for all of us today is open your reading with a Oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card. And this uh, is uh, the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull three personal messages for you. These are going to be um, signs actually with messages. So this is where I ask you to pause the video, take a deep breath, connect to spirit, and then come back to receive these messages. I'm going to close off with an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Pisces, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this new moon energy. So we are getting for you path to plenty. Look at that path to plenty. Let's read the message of this card. You will have no problems getting what you need in life. You will be given more than enough. So once again, you will have no problems getting what you need in life. You will be given more than enough. The, mess, uh, the keywords here are abundance, luxury, and comfort. This is all already in your life. Spirit is truly wanting you to actually experience that abundance, luxury, and comfort. All right, and we've got this beautiful golden tree, golden lights, the color gold. Some of you might be seeing gold in your life. So let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. All right, we are getting the three of cups. So this is a very expansive energy collective conscious energy. This is where we really connect with those around us, surround ourselves with uplifting energies. And this is so important for you this month, Pisces. I feel a lot of you are going to find yourself surrounded by people, even new people. All right, so the three of cups to start. We have the moon card. So there's a lot of things that may have been hidden in your life that are coming to light. And I feel this is allowing you to even shine your own light as things come to reveal themselves. There's a discovery. There is something that is being revealed here. Secrets, truths, things are coming out for you, Pisces. Now, this is a major arcana card. So this energy is going to be prominent in your life. However, it's usually in the background. So some of us might feel it intensely while others, we feel it subtly. So the moon here and we have the two of pentacles. So you're upgrading, you're moving up in your life. There's an ascension, there's a higher frequency, a higher vibration that is available to you. And some of you have been climbing a mountain in your life. Maybe you've been going through some sort of challenge, some sort of feeling like you're being tested, right? Spiritual tests. Those are also taking place for some of us, right? So there's an upgrade, there's a, a movement upwards here in your life. And there's a lot that... Um, you're doing right now in your life here, Pisces. I'm just seeing a lot of beautiful things happening and you are going to reach the top. Spirit is saying you are going to reach the goal that you're working towards. Now, before I begin here, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon, rising and Venus signs. All right, Pisces, we've got a lot of growth 
creativity here. This is the number three in numerology is about creativity. It's about how we express ourselves, how we show up in the world around people, the way that we communicate, right? It's a very, uh, it's, it's an energy that is tied to the sign of Leo. All right. And what's happening here is we have the moon. So things might be a little bit hidden away where we're not seeing or realizing our full potential in a certain situation. Maybe we're not able to speak our truth or even speak up for ourselves around a crowd or around a certain person. So this is where spirit is calling you to really open yourself up to that experience of, you know, exploring your voice, exploring your communication. Um, even those, they don't even have to be words for you, Pisces. This could be a way that you uh, channel energy into something artistic, something creative, right? It could be a work of art, like painting something, music even, um, writing, and that's words being written down. But I feel your words are very powerful. Your story is very powerful. And Spirit is calling some of you to actually follow that path of sharing your story, your experiences. Maybe there's some wisdom that you have that you've been wanting to share with others. Now is the time for you to really shine that light in the world, that light of your gifts, your wisdom. The other thing is this growth that is happening. You're going to see this in your physical reality. This is happening internally, but you're going to see it shifting and changing in your reality. So I'm seeing a shift of friendships things that are changing a little bit here, a dissolving of old friendships or connections, some sort of, um, even a community. Some of you might be changing neighborhoods. Maybe you're moving to a different city, even a country, right? There's changes that are taking place where I'm seeing some of your surroundings uh, dissolving into something else. And maybe this is, I'm getting an old family home here. So there's almost like this energy of letting go or releasing that old home. Or perhaps you've been dreaming about your family home, the home that you grew up in, Pisces. There's something coming up here with your childhood as well. Old friendships, some ties here. I'm getting old pictures. Some of you looking through old albums. And maybe there's something that has come to light in your life, maybe around a friend, you're wanting to connect with somebody. So this expansion is happening for some of you through an old connection, this connection where you reignite that relationship. And for others, I'm getting, I'm getting an old barn coming up here in my mind. I don't know if any of you are near an old barn. It looks red. It's on a field. Um, I don't know if any of you have some sort of event that is taking place. Maybe you were married in a barn, like I've seen those barn weddings, right? So um, this is so interesting how Spirit is showing me all these different things for you today, Pisces. I'm seeing you in group settings as well. Maybe taking a course or maybe going to yoga, going to the gym where there's a lot of people around you so that way you're in that same energy and alignment of what it is that you are doing. Meditation groups, breathing exercises. There's this also expansion with your knowledge, the way that you um, express yourself uh, through creativity like learning learning new things. Perhaps you're taking a course on what it is that you're trying to master, right? This is a year of mastery. August is the perfect month for us to really utilize our gifts and to master something, to release ourselves of anything that is no longer serving our higher purpose. So this is where spirit wants you to be aware of the energies that you're surrounding yourself with. You want to be around uplifting energies, uplifting people, not things that drain your energy or people that drain your energy. So it's going to be very important that you protect yourself from any kind of draining energies this month and really surround yourself with light, light beings. And light beings has been coming in quite a bit here. So for you, Pisces, I feel some of you are light beings. You're meant to um, send a message across the world here. And it's through, um, it's through the way that you share and it's your story it's your experience it's the way that you're able to articulate and communicate these things through just yourself and sometimes what happens is we have a fear or uh, not feeling like that's that's like there's low self-confidence here right not feeling like what you're trying to do like you're, you're feeling judged here Maybe you're afraid because someone maybe have, has said something to you when you were younger. So you're having a hard time to actually do things in a way that you would like to in the way that you would like to. This is all now this is the opportunity for you to actually do that. 
And what's going to happen is there's a natural and organic alignment that is going to take place here where you're going to see old friendships and things that aren't in alignment with who you actually are, your authenticity, the way that you're now choosing to move it, move forward in life, all of that's going to dissolve and everything that's in alignment with you is going to take place and take shape and unfold. Okay, so a, a powerful energy here for you. And what I'm getting is some shadow work being done. Some of you really looking inward, taking a look and putting a flashlight to some of the things that are showing up in your life. These are surfacing. It feels like a full moon energy for some of you. And I feel this has partially something to do with Mercury retrograde for some of you. It's like shadows are surfacing, you know, around the full moon, we have the werewolf energy. And I always feel that's our inner werewolf. It's our inner animal spirit. Um, it's the beast within whatever you want to call it, but it starts to surface and there's many different versions of that within us. So there's this uprising of some shadows that are coming in and this is where those shadows want to be recognized. They want you to actually look at them and work with them. Um, there's some, some of them that you need to release and let go of. And these are things that you're aware of in yourself, Pisces, that you're wanting to release and let go of. So in the beginning here of August, you're meant to release and let go and really allow yourself to move forward without any kind of restrictions or limitations here. And I'm getting a wave, wave a back and forth energy. It's like tides, but I'm getting it in waves. And it's really interesting because you're going back and forth. I don't know if it has to do anything to do with the planetary alignments, right? But I feel there's like this pull, this energetic pull of the waves in different, different directions here. There's a connection to water for you as well. And the other thing is the nighttime. Nighttime hours for you. I feel there's some interesting things that happen. Some of you have stories to share there. I'm getting creaking on your floors, things that happen while you're sleeping, maybe a banging of a door, maybe sounds in the sky at night. Perhaps you're even hearing animals, owls hooting at night. So there's this extra sensory to the nighttime hours. And also those of you that are waking up at certain timing, like for example, anytime at two, three or 4 a.m., this has to do with messages coming through. So if you find yourself waking up at a certain time, take a look at those numbers and what the meaning of those numbers are in numerology. And that should give you an answer around what it is that's happening here. What kind of message is coming in? And again, I'm getting dreams. I'm also getting nightmares here. All right. So messages coming through in different ways that are tied more to the dark. It's a more quieter energy. And through this, you're going to see how you're seeing some of the things that you weren't able to see before. You know, as these shadows are surfacing, that darker energy lifts and you can see the light beneath it. And what's happening is spirit actually wants you to take a look at the light that is surfacing, that is igniting and allow it to shine in the world. So there's a major process of clearing some of that um, dust, some of that darkness. And it's not that it's bad darkness, because if we're able to really balance light and dark energy in our lives, we would be able to see ourselves way ahead. Right. And a lot of times this energy and this is a month, August, especially us being in Mercury retrograde, it's a little wonky, right? It's a little wobbly, wobbly. So it's all about us trying to kind of hold the balance here together and moving through this energy from a place of love, holding a flashlight. If you're feeling like there's darkness there and finding your way through it, not being afraid. Some of us are afraid of the, of the dark. I'm afraid of the dark. I've learned to cope with it. I've learned to work with it. But sometimes I have days where I'm so scared, right? It comes in. So that goes into my childhood of the fear, right? So some of you may have some inner child stuff that you're still working on and healing through. So whatever's surfacing, it's surfacing because you actually have to take a look at it and see, okay, where is this coming from? And how can I work with this? How can I maybe calm this down, tame the energy instead of, it working against me, maybe I can utilize it and make it work for me. Okay, so that's the moon card, very powerful stuff that is going on here for you. And an upgrade that is happening within this energy. So everything that you're experiencing right now, Pisces is because you are upgrading, you are ascending, moving to a higher frequency, a higher vibration. This is where the energy feels different. So you're going to feel different here as well. You know that this energy is setting in. And maybe it's bringing in a little bit of shaky ground for you, a little bit of, you know, unnatural weather. Some of you might be feeling storms in your life, or maybe you're feeling like you're overwhelmed. Things are a little bit too hard at this time. It's a heavier, more dense energy that comes in. It's a bit thick and it's harder to walk through, harder to get through. And 
it feels like you're in um going through a mud wall slowly rather than through a water wall right so they're showing a mud wall and it's difficult but and it's new so you have to be prepared here prepare yourselves is what spirit is saying here if you have a feeling or sense of something coming up especially a challenge as it starts to set in it's like use that uh, mind use your intellect here you are very powerful here pisces spirit is saying that you are you're a really good problem solver okay when you i'm getting some anxiety setting in here with somebody out there so when you're feeling any kind of anxiety any kind of worry any kind of confusion fogginess around something that you're wanting to do but you're not sure there's uncertainty there let's clear our minds let's calm ourselves down so cultivating that inner sanctuary within in order to calm the inner self and allow us then allow ourselves to see through some of that darkness so what's happening is spirit is calling you to ground yourself this is why you have a tree golden light and take a look at this card right so grounding exercise it's implementing something in your life that calms you down in the moment that you're experiencing any kind of turbulence any kind of really steep uphill movement right it's it's very heavy so it feels like you're moving a bit slower and that's okay if you're moving slower this is really good because this is where you can rejuvenate just a little bit and you are, you're able to see things a bit more you can um you know make a game plan on okay this is how a really steep climb maybe i can get some tools or use some of the branches to help move me upwards right to help and assist so seeking support being resourceful here finding ways to make things work and making a situation the best situation possible even if it feels like things are going wrong they're never usually going wrong it feels like they are right but a lot of times it's all all about us putting the pieces together and solving our way through that energy navigating our way through it you're very smart here pisces and spirit is wanting you to know that anything coming your way you're going to be able to get through it you're going to reach that top of that mountain you're going to reach your goals here they want you to have strength you have a lot of power at this time as well now those of the those of you that are seeing the number 3 18 and 2 this is coming in as confirmations for you that there's something in this reading for you today but also the number 3 1 8 2 if you're seeing these numbers in the sequence anywhere in your life this is a confirmation of this reading for you there's a higher awareness this connection to your higher self here so we've got an expansion happening in your consciousness so i feel that there's a lot of wisdom a lot of information that is coming in a lot that you're gaining through your experiences so you're finding that you're coming up with problems to solutions in a way that you've never done before and perhaps this is through you being tested and you need to be tested in order to break have a breakthrough around some of this information coming in and what's happening is spirit is showing you your true powers this is you shining your light this is what you're made of and spirit is showing you this through some of the actions that you're taking the movements that you're making in your life around your goals around your passions around your dreams and your desires we've got a manifestation that is taking place here as well so some of you have set intentions what a great month to set intentions to manifest right so implementations of uh setting intentions some sort of practice around that i usually like candles i find it's quick and easy and it works for me every single time so that's my go-to is lighting a candle and setting an intention and what's um there's a lot of growth coming in as well with this tree and i'm getting a firm foundation spirit is really wanting you to lay a solid foundation so you know when we go rock climbing a lot of the rock climbers understand what it is that they need to do in order to climb a rock a rock face they've got all their tools they come prepared right and even if they go through something that is unpredictable they're able to make it work it's this um, quick thinking and i feel this is the energy that you have available to you right now where you are resor resourceful it's like you're building uh wood out of just fire so if you are sent out into nature you're by yourself without any kind of tools we have the power to actually create fire with just the nature itself but we have to learn how to do that right it's about understanding and, and the knowledge on how to do that so this is where spirit is asking you to light your inner fire to find the things that you need in order like the tools and things to light that inner fire so anytime you're facing any kind of challenges or any uphill climbs in your life 
energetically here, you're able to light that fire and move at a really good pace, right? And there's revitalization here as well. So taking time to rest, taking care of your body temple. So it's in good, it's attuned in and it's in good shape to keep you moving through this energy. So self-love, self-care is coming in here with this card for you. So look at that. Now I'm going to pull a bonus card. This is the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So let's see what it is that Spirit wants to share with you through this card deck. So we are getting today, Elder, move beyond ancestral patterns. So look at that. Elder is coming in. So we've got some ancestral uh, bloodline, some ties here, patterns that are coming in that have gone back generations. So look at that. So some of you might be seeing the images or maybe this image itself is resonating for you in some way. So let's take a look and see what it is that spirit wants to share with you through this card. All right. So move beyond the limitations that have been set for you by family members past and present. Know that the energy of your spirit is more powerful than genetics and behavioral patterns. The Aboriginal people are the oldest tribal people still living on the planet. Their hunter-gatherer culture and ancient spirituality are rooted in tradition and balance with the earth. So the Aboriginal ancestors are offering you not only wisdom that will help you heal and adapt to the ever-changing planet, but also an understanding what a spiritual life should be. The elder is the ancestor who comes with a message of healing change. He is an embodied soul, yet he has had journeys that go beyond the physical, therefore he re represents a reclamation of power. When he appears, it's acknowledgement that you have the capacity to move beyond the limitations that have been placed upon you. If you have had expectations of success, failure, sadness, or even sickness placed upon you by your family, it's important to know that you are here to create your own reality, your own story. This card represents personal healing that will, that will bring healing to your family lineage, past, present, and future. Know that you decide what you take on. And also know that your ancestors are rooting for you and are sorry for any setbacks they have created for you. All right, so look at that, elder. So we've got a lot of energy that is coming through for you, Pisces. All right, so this is where I ask you to pause the video, take a deep breath, connect to spirit, and then come back to receive your three messages. So these are signs that are coming in for you. Pisces, your first card is Canyon. Maybe some of you live near a canyon. Perhaps you've visited a canyon or seen a canyon. The message here is the canyon could indicate you are receiving intuitive feelings around particular situations or relationships in your life that you were unaware existed in the past. Trust your intuition to lead you in the right direction. So once again, the canyon could indicate you are receiving intuitive feelings around particular relationships in your life that you were unaware existed in the past. Trust your intuition to lead you in the right direction. So look at that. That's really interesting here. I'm getting love birds. Perhaps you're seeing birds in pairs. Maybe you're seeing red birds in pairs. Love birds. So the message here is love birds are living testimony of the most wonderful emotion on earth, love. These little creatures always seen in pairs symbolize love, long-term commitment and care that you will experience in life. So once again, lovebirds are living testimony of the most wonderful emotion on earth, love. These little creatures are always seen in pairs, symbolize love, long-term commitment, and care that you will experience in life. I love that. So, hey, there's an alignment happening for you, Pisces. We've got fish coming in as well. So we've got a pair of fish. Again, we've got twos coming in. You've got number two here. So I feel that's a sign in itself. If you're seeing any fish around you, this is your confirmation today. The swimming fish represent your physical and spiritual alignment with the material world. They call attention to your beliefs around your value, self-worth, and abundance. So once again, the swimming fish represent your physical and spiritual alignment with the material world. They call attention to your beliefs around your value, self-worth, and abundance. All right. So your angel number now today. So if you're watching and you've been seeing angel numbers or repeating numbers in your life, this is going to bring you your confirmation and guidance. 
So we are getting for you, Pisces, getting closure. Some of you are getting closure somewhere in your life. The number is 69, 69. If you're seeing these numbers in this sequence, anywhere in your life, this is your confirmation and message today. It's time for you to start wrapping things up in this chapter, Pisces. There's a closing of a chapter and a new one beginning. They're wanting you to release the old because you're entering a new phase in your life. They're wanting you to look through a different perspective, the perspective of love, but also looking ahead to all the beautiful things that are about to unfold fold in your life. Look at that. All right, everyone, we've got some more magic intention candles back in stock. So these are made by my sister-in-law, Katomi. She lives with me and she makes them in this house, actually. These are perfect for this month of August. This is a very powerful month to set intentions and manifest. And those of you that are into that, that love to use candles, these are perfect for that. These, this is the intention Katomi has set into these candles for you. So it comes with a stone and this stone is actually uh, consecrated as you are setting that intention and you can either carry this around, it has a hole and wear it in a necklace, right? So grab these while they're in stock. The link for these are in the description box below. So this is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.